Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how to create a toggle button in Power BI. These buttons can be really, really useful because they can help the user to switch between visuals or pages and you give them some more flexibility to choose from things. I use toggle buttons a lot when I implement dark and light mode so they can just press a button and then switch from the light mode, for example, to the dark mode. So that can be handy and they're quite easy to implement. And I will show you how. We will do this together. So to get started, you need the following. You need Power BI Desktop. You need two visuals uh, because we will switch between these visuals using the toggle button. And you will need to know where the bookmarks and selection view in Power BI Desktop are. If you don't know where they are yet, we will do this together. I will show you. Don't worry. So let's begin and let's do this. So here we are in Power BI. You see I have two visuals, one in a light mode and one in a dark mode. And you can also see I put some background shape there so they pop up uh, a little bit more. And like I said before, we want to implement this toggle, but we need to first make a selection and create some bookmarks. And to do so, you need to have them in your pane. Uh, if you don't see them, selection and bookmarks, they should be on the right side. You can go to view and then activate them here. And then they should pop up and you should be able to activate them. In selections, if you open it, in this case, we see four things. We see two times the visual and two times the shape. And bookmarks is currently empty because we have no bookmarks created at the moment. So, but now we, of course, want to create some bookmarks. So how do we do that? First, regroup our selection. Because I have a shape, not this one, this one, and a background that I want to group together. And these two, they are dark mode, group one. And then I do the same with the other one, select them, group, group, group two. These names, not really, Useful one and two. So let's double click and rename it. So this is our light mode selection and this is our dark mode selection. Dark mode. Yeah. And you see to the right of what I just named light mode and dark mode, these eyes. If you press on the eye, everything in that group disappears. This is important because we will use that in combination with the bookmarks to make this toggle work. So what we need to do is, uh, first I arrange my group at the same position at, as the other group. So now they are on top of each other. And then I actually make some bookmarks. So when we are in light mode, this is this. We don't want to see dark mode, so I hide this. And now I add a bookmark. Add. And this is light mode. We do the same for dark mode. So we hide light mode and we unhide dark mode, create a bookmark and call it dark mode. There it is. And if you click with your mouse on the different bookmarks, they will show you that it worked. The light mode was saved as a light mode bookmark and the dark mode was saved as a dark mode bookmark. So that's nice. So we have the functionality that one is hidden and one is not hidden so we can see it. So now it's toggle time. We want to create a toggle. We want to make this interactive. Now we want to implement our toggle and there's no button that is automatically a toggle in Power BI. We need to create that. To do so, we go in the ribbon at the top to insert and then buttons. And then we choose navigator and bookmark navigator. This is super handy because we just created these two bookmarks. And we, when we select bookmark navigator, you see you automatically get two buttons that work with the bookmarks. You don't need to configure it. If you uh, hold control down and then click on it, 
you see dark mode, brings you directly to dark mode, and light mode brings you directly to light mode. That's super handy. Um, if that would have been what we wanted, it would be awesome. But we want this toggle. We want one button, and we want to have this toggle style. So how do we do that? Uh, first, we click on the visual on these uh, buttons, and then we go to bookmarks in the format pane, bookmarks, all. And then there's this allow deselection. We say, yes, allow deselection. Which one do we want to deselect at this moment? Uh, dark mode. Which, and we hide it when it's uh, not selected. What does that mean at the moment? If I click on uh, this, it will uh, select dark mode. And if I really select light mode, it will show light mode. Uh, don't be confused by the background of this button at the moment. We will change that in a minute. Uh, so now we have our two bookmarks in one button. If you click on it, it changes from bookmark to bookmark. And now we want to make it look like this toggle. So we want to add this little ball in the middle. And you can do that by opening your bookmarks again. I had closed them before. And currently, you see, we called the bookmark light mode and dark mode. And you see the text inside of this button. It's actually the text in the bookmark. So if we go on bookmarks and we remove this and add like this little ball, then it will actually be shown. And how do you do that? There's a shortcut. If you press the Windows button and the dot, and I will show it in the video, you can actually open uh, all kinds of emojis. <laughs> Uh, all kinds of icons, and I have here one, uh, yeah, one over that I want to choose. And if I click on it, you see it's added to the bookmark. So you can put in anything there. There are also websites. Uh, if you want to search for it, you need to search for Unicode icons, and there you can find them. But I always use the shortcut because it provides me with almost everything I'm looking for. So we see light mode is not light mode named anymore it's now this round thing and if i click on somewhere else you see it's also changed in our button now again it's a little bit hard to see so now i need to format it so i go to style and we see if i go to style and i say state default it has this uh, darker font color and white fill and if I click on selected because that's what at the moment happened it is selected you see the font color is white and the fill is quite dark I will make this gray for now because then now it's easier to see and the colors chosen depend on how your Power BI theme is configured at the moment. And mine is configured to show automatically this darker background because uh, I was building a dark mode dashboard. So the colors can change depending on which Power BI theme you're using. And now we see this little dot here. We want to make it a little bigger. So we know this is the selected state. And we go to style, state selected, and we increase the size somewhat. And you see this icon then increases in size. And uh, these toggles work uh, always like uh, the ball is uh, on one end or the other. So we say alignment to the left for this one. And I also want a different shape because this does not really look toggle style. So we go to shapes and rounded rectangle, and we can make it as round as we want. <laughs> um, and you see sometimes it gets a little bit lost here because the size is too big. So I go back to style and change that a little bit so it makes a little bit more sense there. And you can change the border. I like this border. You can make it a little bit bigger. And I've seen a lot of people doing this because then it looks much more like a toggle. Uh, 
I like this. You can choose whatever you like, like the colors, the border color, the uh, width. You can choose whatever you like. That's the nice thing about Power BI and about being creative. Uh, choose the things that work for you. Uh, I make it a little bit smaller, like this. And I think this would be my toggle for uh, when it's light mode activated. And then, of course, um, when I click on this and it's deselected, this is not really the functionality I'm looking for. So I also need to uh, change that. So I go to default and first I check what was the font size I used when it was selected. That's 14. I go to default. Also make it 14. This time I align it to the right. You see? And let's also increase the border, have a quick look what I used there with three. Um, default go to border with three. Okay. So now if I click on this, the slide mode is going to dark mode. Um, now, I struggle a little bit because light mode, I understand this is light mode. Uh, dark mode, I want to change the fill here. So what am I going to do? So this is the state default. I change the fill to uh, dark, <laughs> to the same color as the background. But now I, of course, change the border to a little bit lighter color. Like this. And now you see light mode to dark mode, being in light mode, to dark mode. You see, you get the idea how this works. Again, choose the colors that work best for you. I see there's also some visual border here. Deselect that, uh, make it a little bit smaller again. Go back and forward. Um, this and you see every time I hover over this we still get a little bit of a different color in the background when I'm in light mode I don't see it because it's the color of light mode when I'm in dark mode it also gets a different color so how do we fix that we say hover uh, what should it be something in between like this so hovering Now we are at the last step. We made our selection, we created the bookmarks, and now we created the toggle that hopefully looks the way you want it to look. And remember, you can really choose everything you or your end user likes, the colors and the border and all of these things. And there's not this one perfect uh, solution. So now you have this uh, the button here. And now we, of course, want to implement it. And you can just drag and drop it to where you like it. You can put it in the visual. If you're just changing one visual, uh, I would recommend putting it really close, like inside of the visual. But my button is a little bit big for that. So I will put it for now here. And because it's a bookmark navigator button, if you click on it using control, clicking, it will automatically change to the right bookmark. So this is really, really an easy implementation. I hope you learned something. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any ideas, please also let me know. And if you tried it yourself, please show me. I'm really curious about how your uh, toggles look like. Uh, thank you for watching this. And I also recorded a video about using icons to toggle between uh, visuals. So if you're interested, feel free to watch that.